Hi, everyone. Again, I want to apologize for not having a daily greeting uh, yesterday, or sorry, on Monday. Um, but today, what we're going to be doing is on Friday, you do have a chapter eight test. So today, what we're going to be doing is reviewing for that test. So, chapter eight, and this should be up here. So, review materials is going to be up here. Okay. And what I want you to do is do the study guide. Look at the study guide, review it. And if you want some really good questions, either A, go back and look at each section of what you want to study off of based off of the study guide and do that homework, rather it be the worksheet or the IXL homework assignment. Or B, I do have a, and I haven't written, I haven't put it on the study guide, but I do have a review assignment. So here it is. So if you need a pencil or paper, please pause this video so that I can uh, give it to you at a good time. So pause this video when you're ready, when you're ready, please um, unpause the video. So what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to do uh, the review in the book, which is page 560. So page 560. One, two, Four through, four through, fifteen, four through fifteen. So one, two, four through fifteen, eighteen through twenty one, eighteen through twenty one. 23, 25 through 28, 25 through 28, okay? So that will be your review assignment for chapter eight. Now in this assignment, there is not, there is not, I repeat, not a, um, coordinate proof, or sorry, not a coordinate proof, but a coordinate plane question. And there is not a proof in this homework assignment. So if you need to go back looking at that, I do have um, some in, in my, in the study guide, I do have some really good uh, coordinate um, geometry kind of questions to look at. So here, take a look at example three on page 517. This is a coordinate plane problem. And just like the proof on the quiz, this proof is also going to be uh, just the justifications you have the reasons can you give me the justifications from there okay so this will have the study guide will have everything that you should look at including some coordinate problems that you should have okay so of course um, that's all i want you to do do this do any homework you feel like you need to do for the test as well as some coordinate problems the review the review assignment i just gave you and then also look at the proofs if you want to look at the proofs from the quiz last time you can go right ahead and do that i believe it's open if it's not someone please let me know um and you should be good there but i'm um, just kind of put some normalcy back here in here and i haven't really done this all that much uh lately how many so estimate 180 how many serial circles so these kind of cheerios looking things does it do you <laughs> fits in the inner circumference of the bowl so how many circles cereals can go all the way around the bottom of the bowl Okay, I'll give you five seconds to pause it and then I'll play this video down here. I'm gonna make my guess as well. Um, I am going to say there is gonna be 21 circles, candy or uh, cereals to go on the bottom of the uh, I'm bottom of the cup. Let's see what the right answer is. I promise I had did not look at this, so I'm probably way off. Let's look. Oops. Yeah, I'm definitely way off. I counted 11 would have been a semicircle. And then we're up to here. Eighteen, nineteen. 20, well, it wasn't too bad. Probably two more can fit in there after 21. 
So 23 serial circles are the circumference of that cup. Good job if you got it right. Um, but again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. All we're doing today is looking at this study guide. Do some studying if you need it, rather it be that review assignment I just gave you, past IXL assignments, past worksheets, uh, anything like that. So past quizzes, look at anything you need to, to get yourself ready and prepared for the test on uh, Friday. So of course, as always, like I said, if you have any questions, email me, use the discussion boards. I'm always open to answer those. Even on tests, if you have a question on the test, please feel free to ask those. I have had some people ask me questions and I've kind of helped them out a little bit. So please don't, feel, don't hesitate to ask questions. Um, but yeah, have a great day and I will see you on Friday for the test. Good luck.